Hello everyone, this is Laboratory Tech 13 here from the Riptide Project Laboratory and I've got an amazing deck for you today. It is Historic Monument and I'll be doing the deck tech where I'll show you all the cards on the deck, what it does and what it means for your game plan here in the historic format. So if you've never seen this deck, this is actually a very cool deck that is based around ramping up to your strongest threats. Uh, old school players like to call this deck mud because the original uh, frame for it was brown. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really neat deck. You try to ramp into Forsaken Monument so you can get the most mana possible. It's the Mirari's Wake in the deck. So getting there starts you off with Mind Stone, Guardian Idol, Hedron Archive, these are all ramp cards. And then, of course, you can have Golos Tireless Pilgrim that can look for Cascading Cataracts, so you can use its ability. But then when you get the mana out of Forsaken Monument, by the time you get there, either turn 3 or turn 4, uh, you can drop Ugin the Ineffable. You can drop uh, Ugin the Spirit Dragon. You can drop Ulamog and kill the most problematic, or exile the most problematic permanents on the battlefield. And then, of course, its attacking trigger makes it very difficult to fight against. You can win pretty easily. Uh, Karn the Great Creator is one of the biggest cards in the deck because you can tick up and make Historic Mon Forsaken Monument itself be like a 7-7, which is really cool, but I, I don't recommend it because it can get killed that way. And whenever you get cast a colorless spell on here to gain two life, it has been really good against aggro decks in the historic format. So the sideboard is a wish board. And if you don't know what a wish board is, it's basically a sideboard that doesn't necessarily change when you sideboard against other people in best of three. That means Karn the Great Creator ticks down to look for anything you need from your sideboard during the game, but you stay on your regular sideboard plan, unless you have ways to fit it in. But typically this is a very focused deck where you're trying to also always do a thing and not have to worry about it but that's basically it for the deck tech for historic monument if you'll wait just a moment uh i believe at the end of this video there should be some more videos or at least on my channel that you can find that are videos of historic monument games in historic obviously so if you just keep watching for here in just a moment you'll you'll get listed onto that or you can go ahead and click through to the next video but this has been just the deck tech for historic monument now watching the game soon and remember the research Never ends.